The president's national security advisor, Jake Sullivan. Jake, thanks for joining us this morning. You know, two weeks ago, the president told me that American military would stay until all Americans were out. At least 100 Americans remain. What is the plan to get them out? Well, first, as General McKenzie said yesterday, we continue our mission to get them out. It's just that it has shifted from a military mission to a diplomatic mission. And we have considerable leverage over the Taliban to ensure that any remaining American citizen will be able to get out. And I would point out to you, George, that on August 14th, when this evacuation mission began, we believe that there were between 5,500 and 6,000 Americans in Afghanistan. We got out between 5,500 and 6,000 uh, people, Americans from Afghanistan. We got out 97 or 98 percent of those on the ground. And the small number who remain, uh, we contacted repeatedly over the course of two weeks to come to the airport, to come to a rally point. 5,500 or more did that. The small number who remain, we are committed to getting out, and we will work through every available diplomatic means with the enormous leverage that we have and that the international community has to make that happen. That has not satisfied all the president's critics. T Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, quote, Joe Biden left behind Americans. He left behind vetted Afghan allies who risked their lives for our soldiers. A disgraceful lack of leadership from an incompetent president. Your response? My response is that leadership means taking a look at the situation and asking the hard question, what is going to be in the best interests of the United States of America, those American citizens still in Afghanistan and those Afghan allies? And he got a unanimous recommendation from his Secretary of State, his Secretary of Defense, all of his civilian advisors, all of his commanders on the ground, and all of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, that the best way to protect our forces and the best way to help those Americans was to transition this mission. At the end of the day, the question will be, did we protect those American citizens? Did they get out if they wanted to get out? We believe that we will get out any person who wants to get out, and we will have completed that mission. And those who are criticizing are not the ones who have to sit in the Situation Room and make the hard calls about the threats that we face and the objectives we're trying to obtain. And President Biden made that hard call, and it is a call he believes will ultimately serve the interests of our people all of our citizens and our country. You say we're going to work with the Taliban. Does that include the prospect of giving them aid? Well, first of all, we do believe that there is an important dimension of humanitarian assistance that should go directly to the people of Afghanistan. They need help with respect to health and food aid and other forms of subsistence, and we do intend to continue that. Secondly, when it comes to our economic and development assistance relationship with the Taliban, that will be about the Taliban's actions. It will be about whether they follow through on their commitments, their commitments to safe passage for Americans and Afghan allies, their commitment to not allow Afghanistan to be uh, a, a base from which terrorists can attack the United States or any other country, their commitments with respect to upholding their inter international obligations. It's going to be up to them, and, and we will wait and see by their actions how we end up responding uh, in terms of the economic and development assistance So long-term aid is possible, but this humanitarian aid is going to flow through the Taliban? It's not going to flow through the Taliban. As you know, George, when we send humanitarian assistance to countries, we do throw through do so, excuse me, through international institutions like the World Health Organization or the World Food Program. And we do th do so through uh, non-governmental organizations who, George, are still operating on the ground in Afghanistan as we speak. It will not flow through the government. Jake Sullivan, thanks for your time this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.